Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. It's been an amazing summer so far, working on different projects and whatnot. Um, yeah, just having a good time. Got a nice place to live and everything. It's been great. So um, I got another ESX, as many of you know, and I promised that I was going to uh, upload some templates and um, some sets and some tutorials and whatnot. And um, I kind of did something again that I don't think anybody's done, right? So I, I'm going to demonstrate this in a moment. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've created a pattern template, and um, I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how it works. But basically, any of the drum parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, <clears throat> six and six, uh, 6A and 6B, 7A and 7B, right? Um, what you can do, the way I have it set up, is you can drop um, <clears throat> perfectly trimmed loops into those slots and it will warp them, right? Or, or, or make them elastic, like plastic audio. It doesn't exactly time stretch and you don't even have to... Um, <clears throat> You don't even have to, to slice these, these loops. You just uh, drop them in, and it will adhere um, automatically to any tempo and any pitch, right? Now, <clears throat> there comes a point when you pitch it up too high or too low that it starts to stutter out, and you might have to make some adju uh, adjustments. But within reason, and especially within tempo changes, um, especially tempo changes up, you can go... Um, uh, way up or way down in tempo and, the, and the, the audio, whether drums or synth lines or anything else, will stay perfectly in time with that tempo no matter what the pitch or tempo, right? So that's pretty amazing. I don't think anybody's done that before. I'm going to show you how that works, right? So what I've done is I've compiled these onto a pack that I'm going to offer on my website and you can get it if you like or you can do it yourself. I'm going to show you how to do it, but um, I've done all the work for you. To, to create this, it took me about 50 hours, right? Literally, uh, yeah, a lot of trial and error, but I got it right. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to demonstrate how that works and how to do it in a second, right? But these templates, I have a, a, a two-bar template pattern, a four-bar template pattern, and an eight-bar template pattern um, in this pack. And you'll be able to basically uh, drop your loops in, whether they're two, four, or eight bars, and they should work perfectly with this paradigm. Now I did everything in 150 BPMs because it's 75 BPMs and I like to be able to you know, have a, a little bit more detail in my pattern so I, I double it like that. Another thing that I did, I don't know if you guys remember, but years ago I, I talked about creating a different type of, um, of live template where uh, you drop a loop in and you're playing it and then every two bars or every bar on the downbeat it, it snaps back to normal meaning that the filters close up uh, or completely open up the modulation sends get turned off reverse gets t flipped back pitch gets adjusted right so when you're playing these um uh, you can mess with the filters, you can send effects, you can reverse it, you can mangle it and, and, and really, really mess up the audio. And then on the downbeat, it snaps back to normal. It's really, really valuable. I'll put a link to that video in the, in the description so you can go check that out if you'd like. But, but I, I included that in this template as well, right? Now, just so that you would have some stuff to work with, I also threw together more than 150 bass lines and synth lines that I wrote myself and drum loops, right? So you'll be able to get that with the pack as well. And you'll be able to, uh, to throw those in and mess with them, right? Um, you can modify them in different ways to make them uh, sound more unique uh, on your own and not you know, generally using my, my uh, patterns, right? But I also, on top of that, um, I am including 300 plus synth voices, right? Bass and synth um, notes, just single notes in C that you'll be able to load into keyboard parts and play your own stuff, right? Um, all of this is obviously not going to fit in one ESX file. So what you're going to get is multiple ESX files, and each one of them has all of the voices and everything edited, trimmed, sliced, um, stretched, if, you know, if applicable, all these things, it's going to be um, all completely edited for you. And what you'll be able to do is load uh, as many of these ESX files as you can onto your smart media card. Hopefully you got a 128 uh, megabyte one, but you'll be able to slip it in, go to global, hit shift and pad 16, load, and you'll be able to load patterns or you'll be able to load samples 
um, from the packs if you know how to do that. Check the manual. It's easy. Um, you can also hit the play button and audition them before you decide to load them. And when you load them, they go into your next available um, empty sample slot. In unless, of course, you... Uh, you, you put it in a spot where you have samples already and then it will overwrite and whatnot. Anyway, so for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you this template. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. I'm going to be throwing some of the loops that I created in there for you so you can see how that works, right? I'm going to show you how to build this template using the motion sequence if you want to, right? Then I'm going to play for a few minutes with patterns that, um, that I've created using these, these templates. And um, you'll see how different the loops are that you can drag in uh, from what I'm actually going to be playing. You can really, really use these packs to make unique music. You don't, you're not limited to what I've done with them, right? Uh, you're getting a huge, huge resource here. It's 20 bucks. Uh, it took me hours and hours and hours to, to make this, and you can decide whether it's worth it after you watch the, the video, or you can just make one of these templates of your own, and I'll show you how it's done, right? So there's that. Um, I hope everybody's blessed. Just have a fantastic uh, summer. And, uh, oh, you know, I should mention these synth notes, the 300 of them, they're basically 16 um, synth notes at a time, right? And they're one bar at 75 BPMs, okay? And what they are is um, I've recorded them all in C5, so they're high, and then there's 16 of them in one sample, um, and I've sliced them into 16 slices, so you can load them into the keyboard part by slice number, right? But also, I've gone into the sample editing and I've pitched them down um, a full octave. So you're actually getting twice the amount of, uh, of, of space for, uh, for a tiny... Um, what I'm saying is you're, you're actually getting 20 seconds of samples out of 10 seconds of sampling time, right? So, so that's how that works. And uh, anyway, everybody watch how I built this thing and then watch the performance. And please, please, God bless you. Be blessed. Okay, so here is the um, ESX. And I have the template loaded in right now. So here it says two bar template. And basically, um, I have the files that I was talking about on 3, 4, and 5. Now notice that all the triggers are lit up, right? And that's for two bars, because this is the two bar template, right? And there's nothing on here, no samples, right? So when I play it, nothing. Now, um, because of, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to grab some of these loops that I was talking about that I made for this pack, right? These are the loops, not the synth. Uh, notes, of course. So we'll go in and um, on this first one, how about some drums? We'll grab some drums. Um, let's just... Okay, there's some drums. Um, we'll go to pattern, go to tempo. And as you can see, I can speed that thing way up. And it stays in time. I can also mess with the pitch. Now, like I said, um, once you mess with the pitch so much, you might have to uh, mess with the amp envelope generator. Just to get it to not stutter out, right? If I leave it all the way up, I can make it, see, it's not exactly right at this point, I can mess with the envelope time though. Right. Now that alone is groundbreaking, okay? So here's how I did it. I armed every single one of the triggers. Okay, in the sequencer, not in keyboard mode. Well, this isn't keyboard mode, so you can't do any, anything about that. But I just basically armed all these, okay? And then I went to step edit, and I went to motion destination start. And you can see that what I did is I basically calculated where in the um, procession of the sample, each one of these needs to be to fire it off perfectly in time. So the first one is at zero. And because it's two bars, the second one will be at 64, right? Because each 
sample, no matter the length, gets chopped up into 127 increments, okay? So um, basically, it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That's starting from the, from the top. 24, 28, 32, and so on, okay? Now, notice, if I go to four bar template, right? Then it is different. It goes by twos instead of by fours. We go motion value start, whoops, start, zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and so on, okay? For a four bar loop, that, that would make them play perfectly. The eight bar, same difference, but it's slightly different. This one goes by eights. Eight, uh, excuse me, what's going on here? Well, it looks like that one needs to be adjusted. Anyway, I'll fix it. Um, in order to demonstrate how this works with multiple samples, because I have it in here and here and here, um, in the first two I just put kick and snare. But actually it's not kick and snare, it's basically slice one of any of the drum parts, right? and slice three of that drum part, right? The, slice, uh, the snare is not always in the same spot on a, in a drum loop, but generally the first slice of a drum loop is always a kick, so it doesn't matter. Right? I also have some keyboard parts and whatnot. Okay, for the second part of the template, on parts number 6a and 7a, right? I have uh, the old template that I made years and years ago that I was talking about, um, where everything snaps back to normal. And I did that on the first note of each bar, right? And um, basically, it has the motion sequence. The motion sequence at these moments snaps everything back to normal in that reverse gets turned off, roll gets turned off, effect sends get turned off, um, motion, uh, modulation depth gets turned back to zero. The filters open up. The start point goes back to zero. The pitch um, goes back to center. Um, and you can just mangle the samples as hard as you can and everything will eventually snap back to normal on a downbeat. So it's really, really valuable. Let me show you what I mean. We'll go to a sample 24 is one of the loops. So listen. Okay, so I got that in here. Let me demonstrate the, um, the start point. Back to normal. Back to normal, okay? Pitch. Back to normal. Back to normal. Filters. Back to normal. Back to normal. Effect sense. Back to normal. Reverse. All right. And back to normal, okay? It's a really, really powerful way of working. And um, so yeah, I've got all this stuff on this, um, in this template, right? Plus uh, 150, more than 150 um, drum loops, bass lines, and synth lines, right? That you can throw into these various spots or mangle and change and resample to make your own. Um, you also get uh, more than 300 synth um, voices and, and to use in your keyboard parts. It's a really, really amazing pack. It took me 50 hours or more to, to, to make it. So go ahead and go to ghostwrittenclips.com or just go into the link in the description and pick up the template for 20 bucks. Or do what I showed you and make your own. I'm totally okay with that. I realize not everybody has 20 bucks to throw down on hours and hours and hours of incredible Korg ESX um, stock material. Anyway, for the next part, I'm just going to perform for a little bit and let you see uh, what's possible, or at least what I did with the pack that, uh, that I made. And you'll hear that, uh, um, that, that the performance is, is, is quite unique. Anyway, everybody be blessed once again. I hope you're uh, having a, a fantastic summer. And if you did something amazing, hit me up and tell me about it because uh, I always love hearing from you guys. I will talk to you soon.